Hello, my name is Ali, and welcome to my channel. We are back with Hakuoki Kyoto Wins, Yamazaki's Route. Let's go. Oh, well, thanks for that. Hey, we don't need to have this conversation out in the sun. Why don't you come inside? Hijikata looked uncomfortable offering anyone any sort of kindness, but he looked at Iba warmly. I took tea to the two in the hall. Hijikata told me to remain there, so I decided to listen in. So you claimed you came to Kyoto with shogunate orders? Oh, what are you here for? I'm currently in Okuzume. An Okuz- wait, oops, sorry, wrong voice. An Okuzume? I listened intently, but subtly, since I was unfamiliar with the contents of their conversation. He's a Hatsumoto of the shogunate. He is entrusted with protecting the shogun and his guests and friends who surround him. Oh, wow. I am honored to meet such a man. Oh, please. I am nothing special. This was a job I acquired from connections with my father. But, but what would bring a man of his stature here, Hijikata? This meant Iba was someone who worked directly with the shogun. What an honor. It made no sense why he would interact with the Shinsengumi, or why he had business with us. Oh, I see what you're thinking. You're thinking, why would he know a guy like me, huh? I did my best to nod without offending him. You see, not only is this gentleman a Hatamoto, but he's heir to the Shinyoto Ryu Iba Dojo, which is one of the top dojos in Edo. The Iba Dojo and my dojo socialized often, so this is how we came to know each other. I don't know if you can hear the birds outside, but oh my god, they are so loud. <laughs> yeah, that's right. When I got word that I would be coming to Kyoto, I was excited because I know I would see Toshi. Iba's eyes shined with adoration, but he Hidikata scoffed and rolled his eyes. Whatever. Just keep in mind, Kyoto isn't exactly a vacation destination. Yes, I'll keep that in mind. However, despite it being so dangerous, it seems even a woman could be with the Shinsengumi. Iba glanced at me with when he asked his question before looking at Hijikata. Er, I gasped and cupped my hands over my mouth, and Hijikata's eyes darted towards me sternly. It would seem Iba picked up on the fact I was female, judging by their interaction. Oh, was that supposed to be a secret? I didn't want to confirm any answers, so I stared towards the mat underneath without speaking. It wasn't difficult to tell that she's a girl. The moment you set your eyes on her, it's not her fault. I know. I mean, only a fool couldn't figure it out. Hijikata looked resigned towards Iba and sighed. Well, her reasons for being here are somewhat complicated, so we have her pose as a man for now. Only a portion of the men in the Shinsengumi know about her. So it would be preferred if you were to keep it under wraps in front of our men. Understood. Would it be too much to ask her about her reasons? Or to ask about her reasons, whatever. Her father is missing, so we're allowing her to cooperate with our investigation. Her father is missing? You're talking about Kodo Yukimura? How did he know everything? When he mentioned my father's name, the hairs on my neck stood up. How do you know my father's name? I guess Hijikata was also shocked by his knowledge, and he looked dubiously towards Iba. Wait a minute. How do you know her father is Kodo? Well, I visited the Yukimura clinic a long time ago. Chizuru, do you not remember me? Iba asked timidly, and it finally clicked for me. If Iba had visited my father's clinic, then that explains why he would have known my name and my father. We are going to say, were you a patient? Oh, interesting. Okay, this is different, different. I just wanna make sure I'm on Yamazaki's route, yeah. <laughs> were you a patient? Um, were you a patient of my father? Eva looked a little forlorn by my response. No, when I was a child, I was interested in Western studies, so I visited your father. We are going to look that up. I always press the wrong button when I do that. All right, we are going to look up Western learning. Western learning. These pertain to the influx of texts arriving to Japan through the gradual dissemination of printing press materials, primarily from the Netherlands. 
I want to make sure I got that word right. <laughs> oh, I see. Don't worry, though. You'll be seeing more of me. What? What are you talking about? You don't have to keep coming back here. Aw, don't be like that. Come on, we're both from Edo. We're buddies. Iba drew Hijikata in closer in a jovial manner, and Hijikata blushed at the notion. Hijikata is normally really uptight, so seeing him behave this way was startling. I had a lingering suspicion that Hijikata was actually enjoying himself. All of the commotion must have alerted the captains, because they popped up from nowhere. Oh, what the hell? Hachiro, is that you? I knew I heard your voice somewhere. It really was you, huh? Shimpachi, Harada, everyone else is here too. Long time no see, boys. Man, you're in Kyoto too? Are you here to train or are you sightseeing? Don't be stupid. I'll bet you he's here to protect someone important or something. Am I right? Well, maybe it's something like that. If you're in Kyoto, I assume you have a pretty good position. Eva nodded plainly in response. I see. You're in Kyoto too, huh? Well, be careful. Don't be stupid and die or something. Thank you for the warning. I'll keep that in mind. Hey, we should go drinking someday. I mean, we could go now if you want. Each of the captains surrounded Eva and exchanged words. Most of all, Eva seemed lost in the amount of fun he had while conversing with everyone. I guess he really knew everyone back in Edo. Hijikata watched their interaction with warmth in his eyes and muttered, See, despite him being a Hatamoto, and also the heir of the Iba Dobo, Dojo, Dobo, my god, what is wrong with me? He chose to learn about each and every one of us, and he treats us with respect. It seems no one can escape his amiable nature. He seemed to be especially fond of Hijikata, though. But I couldn't dare say that. Well, I guess you can say we're friends. Whenever he visits, be sure to let him in. Understood. Before we knew it, evening had come, and Eva told us it was time for him to depart. When I return to Edo, I'll be sure to ask around about Kodo. Very well. Be sure to keep it under wraps. Got it. I won't tell anyone. As we exchanged goodbyes, the warriors returned from their afternoon rounds. One of them seemed to take notice of us, and he brushed over while shouting. You! You're that bastard from the other day! What the hell are you doing here? It was Takeda, glaring at Iba angrily and demanding answers. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't think we've been acquainted yet. Do you dare mock me? You! Name yourself! I am an Okazume of the Obanshi, protector of the Shogun and the re realm Hachiro Iba. A Shogunate protector of the realm Iba? Wait, from the Iba Dojo? Yes, I've been here on official business in Kyoto. In the meantime, I've come to visit my old friends from Shi Shie Hall to pa pay my respects. Don't lie. This visit was is not for idle pleasantries. You're here to spread lies about the other day. I have strictly come to pay my respects. Or would you rather me remind you what happened during this so-called other day? Eva's eyes sharpened directly at Ike Iketa. Takeda. What is wrong with me today? And the latter stopped his pacing and deepened his voice. Whatever you say. Then we're settled. Looks like I'll be on my way then. Takeda seemingly snapped into shape, speaking with a semblance of respect before storming off. Iba seemed relaxed despite everything. Everyone silently stood still, and I was afraid of another incident, so I sighed once Takeda left. Toshi, who is that man? He's Kenryosai Takeda, the captain of the 5th Division. Yukimura told me about the other day. Sorry about that. I'll make sure he doesn't bother you any further. I'm fine, but please watch over her. I think if he finds out she was there, it will not end well. Okay, got it. All right then, Chizuru. I'll drop by again soon, okay? Oh. Did he mean he's coming to see me? 
Did he just mean he was visiting the headquarters? I couldn't respond since I was unsure, and Eva smiled to me with his twinkling eyes. His face seemed reluctant, if not a little forlorn, and he left the compound. I stared at him as he walked into the distance, until his small figure was removed from my eyes. Eva was a mysterious person. Even if he was someone very important and upper class, he acted with integrity and kindness, commanding a lot of respect from the captains of the Shinsengumi. I did not think there were, was a samurai like him in the shogunate. August 1864 August 1864. After the fight at the inn, I was able to leave the compound much more often. I suppose after what I'd done, Hijikata thought I earned a little more trust. I didn't feel like I did anything extraordinary, but I wasn't about to look a gift horse in the mouth. I swear every time that sentence comes up, I mess up. Don't know why. I was genuinely happy that the man Hijikata approved of me. On this particular day, I was out on patrol with Harada in the 10th Division. Excuse me, Harada? The Shinsengumi is out patrolling day and night, right? Yeah, that's right. What about it? But what exactly is it that you do? Most of the men of the Shinsengumi were intimidating, death-dealing titans, but Harada was a rare exception, warm and friendly. Well, I guess we do just about everything. Obviously, we arrest people who want to test out their swords or don't pay for their food. People who don't pay for food? And then there's those chumps who think they'll make a living leaning on the merchants. It wasn't really the answer I'd expected. I guess the Shinsengumi's job is closer to a magistrate's than I thought. Thinking back, I remembered how excited they were during the raid. What they did at the inn was far more intense than their day-to-day -day work. A little further down the road, a couple of men in Shinsengumi blues were waving at us. Nagakira! I guess our separate rounds brought us to the same spot. Hey there, Chizuru. You find any out anything about your dad? No, nothing today. Aw, oh, come on, cheer up. There's always tomorrow, right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. There was something contagious about his optimism. Well, Shimpachi, you find anything exciting? No, nothing in particular, but... All the people on the street are acting busy, you know? I hadn't noticed it before, but he was right. They were acting strange, almost nervous. Yeah, it looks like they're getting ready to move. You think maybe they're worried about getting caught in the middle of a war? What? War? There wasn't a war, was there? Oh yeah, we didn't tell you yet, huh? Well, those Choshu bastards are showing up around Kyoto again, hence our extra rounds. Well, we did give them a bloody nose at Ikeda. I can't imagine they'll just stand around with some of their guys on the ground. Were the Choshu going to try something again? Beats me. Kinda hard to tell at the moment. It doesn't matter anyway. We just do our job. The Choshu attack Kyoto, we drive them back. Simple. They accepted their situation and never complained. I had a good deal of respect for Harada and Nagakira. If they don't back off soon, we're probably going to be getting new orders all the way from the top. So you think the Aizu will give you all orders? Yeah, they might ask us to join as part of the official Shogunate troops. Well, chances like this only come every so often. Who knows when the next one will be? Want to join us? What? I was perplexed by his sudden invitation. Does this mean I could march as a member of the Shinsengumi? <laughs> it seemed rather inappropriate for me to ask to participate just for curiosity's sake. Still, I very much hoped to be helpful in some way. Could I perhaps do something like what I'd done at the Ikeda Inn? However, there's also a chance that I become a hindrance as opposed to helping them out. I, what are we going to say? I want to make sure want to come my headphones are falling off why 
My mind was made up. I nodded to Harada. I want to help. I would like to participate and help in some way. All right. Thanks for letting me know. When the time comes, I'll be sure to back you up so we, you can join us. Bye, Harada. I still think Harada's my favorite out of all of them so far. Several days later, excuse me, I carefully lifted the serving platter for tea for the captains and made my way to the common room. Ah, thanks. Thanks, Chizuru. Man, it's like you're our servant or something. I mean, well, I was a page as far as everyone knew. I am going to let you guys go here. I hope you are enjoying, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!